Hey guys, today I'm gonna to go over some of, the, some of the ways to take a look at a boot um, and try to decipher uh, what boot is best for you or really if, if you're gonna even wear a boot. So my contention about wearing a boot, a typical boot, like your average boot, this one in particular is the Nike one that issued for buds. So this one, like many other, I take a lot of issue with and for three primary reasons, I'm gonna explain them. Number one, the toe box is narrow, okay? When we have a narrow toe box, I'm gonna use my hand as that, that feature, okay? We'll say this is my ankle, this is my pinky, right? And this is my big toe, okay? So when my foot hits the ground, yep, I do heel strike. I don't heel strike to stop, but that heel hits, and then I roll, typically that outer edge, that mid arch, roll, and, and that's what happens. The foot kind of rolls in. And when that foot rolls in, the, when, the, when the pressure comes on the toes, the toes splay out like that, if in the shoe, they should splay out a little bit, okay? If I have a narrow toe box, when my foot, my heel hits, my foot rolls and my toes make contact and when they're supposed to splay out and they don't, right? These tendons, like the tendons are on the underside, your plantar fascia, when they're on the underside, if these toes can't splay out when it hits, where do you think that stress goes? The toes are stuck and that, that foot hits and it rolls, we, we go into the arch. The arch really gets stressed out because the toe box isn't allowing for those toes to open up when they hit the ground, okay? So the toe, narrow toe box is a huge, huge contributor to not only foot health, but knee health, Achilles health, and all the way up to the hip and even into the shoulder, okay? So the second thing about this shoe that is a real problem in most boots is the problem is that <clears throat> this we have from heel to toe, there is a rise, there's an elevation, okay? And so, this boot in particular has a narrow toe box and it has a heel rise. So now, not only does my foot not wanna hit like this, right? I have to over, over, try to over um, plantar flex, I'm sorry, dorsiflex, but I can't, and that's the third issue here in a minute. So now my foot strikes in a downhill, right? That tension is downhill and my toes are still tight. So they're going downhill, getting jammed into the front of that toe box, okay? Now my toes can't lift up because I have a narrow toe box and they're being jammed into the toe. And then now because I'm elevated and I, my, my, my arch can't spread out because of my toes, my arch can't spread out because of my elevation, so then where does that problem happen? If my toes can't dissipate, and my arch can't dissipate, where am I now have to dissipate my energy? Into the heel and the Achilles, where it attaches, okay? So, now we have a narrow toe box that creates two problems, right, of conformity. I can't spread out, and I can't arch, I can't dorsiflex and plantar flex because I'm on an arch. And then the third component is now, I've wrapped this thing around my ankle, locked in my ankle, so now I can't even bend my ankle. Now that I've lost almost entirely my, my ability to plantar and dorsiflex, that is why boots, high top boots, narrow toe box shoes, and, and shoes with high heel to toe incline are a huge, huge contributor to ruptured Achilles, plantar fasciitis, tons and tons and tons of foot traumas, bunions, all these issues, okay? So that's your boot. Right? This is why I never wore boots in the military. Because of this problem with the toes, problem with the heel rise, and we never want to lock down our ankle, ever. This is just to keep the sand out. But for some reason, we, want, we think it's a real good idea to lock down that ankle so I can't move it. And when I can't move my ankle, what's gonna get killed? The Achilles or the plantar fascia, okay? so. My suggestion is to stop wearing boots altogether, right? You, if you gotta play the game, play the game, great. You should lace them a very particular way if you're gonna play the game, okay? So we don't lock that ankle down as much as the boot will do. We gotta have, that, have better options for that. So I would stay away from boots because that's probably a big reason why you're having such a hard time staying healthy or training with a high intensity.